it is currently 8 44 on a thursday and i actually feel so good this morning because i don't necessarily know if the sun is out but blue skies are out and when i tell you i haven't seen like a blue sky in probably three weeks like i i'm not even exaggerating but i feel good i'm in my cute little pink set i'm meeting a friend this morning and things just seem to be going well i'm gonna take you guys along my day i feel like i haven't actually done a day in my life in quite a while i just spent like the past hour waking up doing my skincare routine doing a little bit of a makeup routine straightening my hair putting on my gym outfit normally i don't really get that ready to go to the gym or to go to a workout class but i am going to a new workout class today i'm meeting a friend and we're going for coffee after so i thought why not put some effort into it i feel like i always feel tremendously better when i wear makeup on i feel like it unleashes an inner confidence in me and i talked about that in one of my past videos but when i look good on the outside i feel good on the inside and i just reflect better vibes off so that is why i got ready this morning but check out this pink workout set this is the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life it is from gymshark and it's this bubblegum pink and i love it our workout class starts at 9 a.m so we don't have much time especially because we're walking there but i do want to make a little green juice this morning not to sound like a cliche that girl aesthetic but i do have a juicer and i have so many vegetables in my fridge that are like gonna go bad soon so the best option is to make a juice with the food before it starts to expire in my fridge i've also been loving playing music like really loud in the morning i was trying to like research what type of music has the best vibrations so that i can raise my vibrations in the morning and just start off in a good mood and i actually found out that reggae music has the highest vibrations i mean i don't doubt it i feel like every person that listens to reggae i feel like always looks like they're so happy so i believe them <laughs> In today's juice, we are using celery, cucumber, and grapes. I don't know if grapes is going to work because they're already so like watery and juicy, but I don't have anything sweet to balance out the vegetables, and usually I'll use like an apple. I feel like that really sweetens it, and I also don't have ginger, which is really sad because ginger is my favorite topping for juices. I just love how like spicy it makes it, but I've cut out all my veggies here, and we're also going to put some lime in it. You can see my juicer is back there. I actually got mine from London Drugs, but I'm pretty sure you can get one like anywhere, like any department store or Amazon. I feel like has a bunch so that I have some for tomorrow, which is great. This just looks so cute right now. I added a little bit of extra lemon. So good. The trick with juices is that you need to balance it with something sweet. So as long as you put like apples or like even how I just did grapes or like some sort of fruit, the juice actually tastes really good. And then you put like lime in it. It's fresh. It's good. It's good for like detoxifying purposes. And we can't deny the fact that it's also aesthetic, but obviously that is not the main reason. <laughs> Okay, the workout starts in literally 10 minutes, so I need to get all my stuff together and run there. It's actually like walking distance from my apartment, but like I need to run. I'm also quickly gonna have two of these apple cider vinegar gummies from Body Energy Club. <laughs> just finished that workout and I'm sweating. I fully thought that was supposed to be a Pilates class and then it turns out it was a full-on hot infrared sauna room hit workout. I'm currently outside the studio and I'm waiting for Trinity because I actually did the workout class with her but I think we're gonna go on a walk. I need to take advantage of this weather even though I'm like in my sweaty leggings and sports bra but it's okay. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. It's a beautiful day. Honestly it's like not even cold out which is surprising because it's been really cold for the past like January in Canada but I'm living for it. Also if you couldn't tell I am wearing self tanner. If I look a little bit orange anywhere throughout this video, that is why. Puffy day. How was it? Sweaty, but good. Amazing. It was really fun. I think when I was doing my jumping jacks and I moved my mat like on top of you. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. And I was doing the lunges. I was 
like falling over you. Like, Anyways, we just got coffee from a Small Victory. We're gonna be in nature. It's gonna be good. It's been raining like all day. Yeah, I know. So I haven't like smelled the air or like touched grass. Like, I don't know when people say that. Probably all my people should touch grass, and they're talking about me actually. I'm back in my apartment. I'm freezing. Like, I don't know why I'm still cold because I've been in here for like 30 minutes, but I've just been on my phone being a lazy little girl. I don't know what to eat. So let's see what we have. I think I'm gonna make some avocado toast. I know that's super basic, but I'm in the mood for carbs. Like I wanna eat bread. So that's what we're gonna do. I wanna shower as well because me and Trinity were just talking about hanging out tonight. I'm actually really excited. I've done like one video where she's been in it before, but I've been living in Vancouver since last year. May and I've made a few friends since living here But Vancouver has a stigma of being a very unfriendly place because everybody's kind of a homebody and like stays home And like I'm honestly like that too I may be also a part of the problem because that's just like what I'm used to Trinity is someone that does social media So it's super fun because we obviously have a lot to talk about a lot to relate about I don't know why we didn't really hang out for like the entire summer or even really the fall but ever since December and I guess January we've been hanging out a lot more and it's super fun because she's also into working out So we have so many workout classes that are close to us and we're like walking distance So I'm happy that we got to try out Jaybird today We've also been going to house concept which is a gym that I usually talk about on my youtube channel or like my instagram and stuff I also don't know if I mentioned it, but I got a membership at equinox They have like showers there and like eucalyptus steam rooms and it just feels like a full spa experience My plan for today is I have a lot of computer work to do and I also have more planning to do for fashion week I have to like figure out where I'm staying my flights accommodations what I'm wearing I don't know why online it seems so easy like everyone just goes to fashion week and like it's this like super easy experience which I guess it is and it can be for many people but I feel like there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes in terms of like do you have a publicist do you have a stylist what are you gonna wear what are your outfits do you have a hotel what are your flights what events are you going to what are the after parties are you going to who are you meeting up with there who's your plus one like I feel like there's just so many things that it's literally three weeks away and it's just been on my mind a lot. I also want to take a shower and redo my makeup and just get ready because I recently got to pick out some selects from Revolve, which if you don't know what Revolve is, it is like a clothing store and they have a whole bunch of different like stores under it and they have super cute stuff, but they sent me some items a while ago and I was supposed to take some Instagram pictures for it, but the weather's just been so bad and I have felt... Say insecure but i've just felt kind of in my ugly era recently which i think it's just the fact that it's like winter you're pale i've had really bad eczema like you know i don't know i just feel like i haven't really been feeling it i literally haven't posted on instagram in like a month which maybe to you guys isn't that much but like as an influencer <laughs> I used to post like every two days and I feel really bad that I haven't posted in a while But I just haven't really been feeling up to taking photos. I've been insecure I'm saying this because maybe we don't talk about it all the time like influencers that you see post You're like, oh my god, they look so perfect all the time. Like they just take effortless photos No, I have tried to take photos and I don't like how any of them look I'm trying to give myself positive affirmations and tell myself you look cute It's in your head do things that make you feel good self tan put makeup on if that's what you need I'm gonna use these white plates that I got from Oak and Fort. Delicious. This bread is so thin. Since fashion week is coming up, I really want to feel and look my best while I'm there. I think last year when I went to fashion week, that was like one of my lowest points in terms of my health. After fashion week last year is like when I decided to get in shape and like fix my diet and stuff. I've honestly been keeping pretty much on track ever since last year in March, but I'm excited because this February for this fashion week, I really want to put in that same amount of effort and like work out these next like three weeks and like eat really clean. And I just want to feel my best when I'm there because not only is the whole trip basically like what you look like getting ready taking photos and talking about fashion I just want to feel my best if you guys want to see more vlogs like a health vlog I would be happy to do one or like trying different workout classes <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. 
I have this crazy little setup going on, but we are going to do my makeup routine. I feel like you guys have been asking me for a makeup routine for so long, and it's not that I'm trying to like hide it from you guys. By the way, I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've been trying to film one for a really long time, and in fact, I'm pretty sure I have filmed one like multiple times, but with Christmas and New Year's, there was just other more important things in a morning routine, like the Christmas content, the New Year's content, and then by the time that I would be ready to film the makeup routine, everything I said in the one that I previously filmed was kind of like outdated. We're gonna get into it today and do it quite quickly. Usually I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's like a little sparkle primer, but it ran out. So we're gonna use this one today. This is the Fenty Beauty Ease Droplet All Over Glow Enhancer. I don't actually love this product just because I feel like I need a lot for it to do something. I've been seeing the Alex Earl Get Readies With Me all over TikTok and I've posted a few of them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is basically this girl that blew up on TikTok for filming Get Ready With Me's on there. I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the shade number six. It's honestly quite crazy how fast she blew up, but I am not surprised. She's super gorgeous. She's very humble and like has a very interesting life because she goes to U Miami, which is like the University of Miami. So she's very much a party gal. Honestly, I think we'd get along really well, but since she's been doing it and everyone's been filming those types of videos now and they're all blowing up, I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot, but I, oh my gosh, it's a skill that I actually need to get better at because I'm so bad at talking for some reason on my phone. Like I literally film YouTube videos as a, as a career, as a lifestyle. And yet it's really hard for me to talk on my phone because they give you only one to three minutes to talk. And when I film literally 20 minute YouTube videos, I'm used to talking for a very long time and then editing it all out. So like doing a very short video and then you can't really edit it. I'm like talking so fast and like getting ahead of myself. I'm literally out of breath by the time I'm done filming it. Okay, we're totally gonna pretend that my skin isn't like 20 different colors right now because with the self tan that I currently have and my foundation on top, it looks like nothing matches, but I always switch around my contour or like bronzer or whatever, but I'm gonna use this. This is the Fit Me Concealer in the shade Coco. This is actually Rosina's, but she left it here, so I'm just gonna use it. I don't really do a good job at like contouring my nose at all, but I like to like put some on my nose just so that it bronzes up the area. That was the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Also, I used to blend with a beauty blender, but lately I've been using a brush and I honestly really like it. I feel like it leaves a really flawless finish. Like I said, since I have self tan on, I don't know how this is gonna look, but it's all we've got to work with, so. Usually when I do my makeup, I use setting spray in between like every step, but I don't actually have any right now, so I'm not gonna be doing that. But before I use any powder, I finish all my cream products. I'm going to use this cream blush by Tarte. I actually really, really like it. It's in the shade Breezy Peach Sunset. If you guys are on TikTok, have you seen the huge brand trip that Tarte is on right now? They basically took a whole bunch of influencers to Dubai on like first class, staying in like amazing hotels to basically like promote the brand and the product or whatever. I mean, I'm so happy for them because Slay, but I am so jealous. I think everybody is watching, like who wouldn't want to go to Dubai? When I was younger and I would always see all these YouTubers go on these trips, that was like such a big goal of mine. Like I just, I wanted to go on one of those trips so bad. And now I actually am a YouTuber, but I still haven't had a chance to go on one of these trips. And I think a big part of that was due to COVID, but hopefully this year more trips will happen. But again, they're starting to take more TikTokers, so I feel like I need to be more active on TikTok. If you guys want to follow me? It is Fernando Ramirez with two A's in my last name. After I finish powdering my face, I just basically wipe it all off and kind of make sure I'm blending down to my neck. And then I'm going to use this random palette by Physicians Formula to use their bronzer. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I feel like I always just use random products because I have so much makeup that I like want to make sure I'm using it all. And then it's kind of hard when you guys ask me for like a makeup routine because it's like I do something different every day and I just try to do whatever looks the best. Next up, we are going to do the brows, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm in the shade Soft Brown. I feel like I've complained about this one too many times, so if I have, just bear with me, but I had such bad eczema on my eyebrows this past season. Like, if you can't you can tell. Like I don't even have a tail at the end of my eyebrow anymore because the dry skin on my eyebrows would like flake off and take away the hairs with it. So I've been a little bit judgmental of them recently because they're just making me so mad. And I actually booked an appointment in February, like end of February to get them nano bleeded. That 
that is really terrifying. If you guys have ever seen microbladed eyebrows, it's kind of like that, but the nano blade is like so much thinner than a microblade, which is kind of crazy to think about, but it's super thin, so it looks super natural, and I don't really want them to change the shape of my eyebrow. I just want them to fill in sparse areas so that I don't have to like even fill them in and I can just wear less makeup and like not do my eyebrows and feel confident when I am makeup free. So I really hope that that turns out good. But like I said, that's not until February 28th. So until then, we're rocking with the natural, but I do really want it. And when I do get it done, I'll definitely vlog it and do like a little glow up thing because I feel like that would be really fun. But I'm going to use a little like cream shadow like this one just all over my lid just to have like a base color. And then I'm gonna go in with just a little soft brown like this one. Also guys, such exciting news. I am not gonna say who yet so we can keep it a surprise, but I got asked to be on three people's podcast three people and these are all people that i'm so excited i just love them as people so i'm like so excited to do it and i think you guys are going to be so excited and not shocked but like oh my god <laughs> That's such a terrible reaction, but like I think you're gonna be really excited when you figure out who it is But I have to get back to all of them and give them like dates and stuff But I'm hoping that I can go to LA to shoot like two of them. That would be the dream I feel Like you guys have been asking for some sort of podcast format for me for a while now And so I'm very excited to venture onto that realm in 2023 and I don't want to spill the secret too much But if you guys are watching up to this point in the video, you get the inside scoop There may or may not be a podcast by this person in the near future. Mascara. This is my favorite at the current moment. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara Black Waterproof. It is a lengthening mascara, so it does make my eyelashes really long. Like, it doesn't really make my lashes that thick. And I feel like if you want more volume and more thickness, I would highly recommend the Lash Sensational Waterproof by Maybelline. That's usually the one that I use, but it ran out, so I've been using this one instead. I haven't had eyelash extensions in a while, so that has also given me some time to grow them out. And I've been using Using the ordinary lash serum I honestly I haven't seen like insane growth or anything I also don't even think that I took a before photo so I should really do that but I don't think I've seen like insane change or anything only because I've not been using it that long but it's supposed to be really good so I hope that there is some change in there I'm gonna use this lip gloss I've been loving this it's from bare minerals in the shade love and I don't even know if I bought this but I think it's such a pretty shade we're gonna finish off the eyebrows because I never did this but I'm gonna use this Benefit 24 hour brow setter. The other thing that's essential to my makeup routine is doing eyeshadow liner or like some sort of liner. For the winter season, I was doing a lot of black winged eyeliner, but I am gonna do an eyeshadow liner today. For this, I'm going to use an angled brush and any sort of like dark shade. I'll probably use this one today. It's kind of like a dark brown and this is really flattering to do on blue eyes and I've been doing it for like as long as I can remember, but I basically just line my eyes and it makes your eyes lashes look thicker and then sometimes I'll do a little bit on my lower lash but I'm only gonna do a little bit since it is still a daytime look. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this Frankie's Bikini's Glow Tint. It's kind of like a cream blush but I honestly really like it. I kind of just play around with my makeup honestly and I make sure to do it on the high points of my cheekbones. For highlighter I use another shade in this Physicians Formula palette. It's just this shade right here. It's kind of random but I feel like it must be a dupe for something because it's actually really good let's check in normal lighting if this even looks good okay and don't mind my crazy hair but this is what the final makeup looks like this has been my go-to makeup every day for quite a while or as long as I can remember like I said sometimes I switch it out and use new products but for the most part I feel like this is it hopefully it looks good I'm gonna get dressed and then we'll do my hair later it's me my mom got me this it's gonna be the inspo for today as we dive into working away Guys, it's already dark outside. We got a lot to do today, so I'm gonna get into my work. It is 5 p.m., which is like literally after the work day. That was my fault, but we got a lot to do today. So let's make a to-do list. I'm gonna open up my notes app and just start typing away. Respond to emails, respond texts. I have to respond to my manager, assistant manager, YouTube partner manager, my parents, my friends that I haven't answered yet. I want to answer the publicist. I need to figure out certain paying things. Ask my dad about the flights. There's some brands that I haven't gotten back to that I reached out to in terms of like clothing collaborations for fashion week because you know, I want to look good and fresh while I'm there in my new outfits. Take out selects. I'm so excited. I'm actually receiving PR. <laughs> 
holy grail from matilda jerf jerf avenue which is so exciting and a few other stores i have two sponsors that need to be there's a lot of like corrections and changes so i'm gonna say fix sponsors i also need to purchase a sponsor it's like i don't know this thing that i need to buy okay those are like the main important things then after that we got more time styling new york fashion week outfits i'm doing that on canva with like screenshots of the items to see how i want to work them together work on side projects i'm not gonna say what they're called yet but i feel like that's basically it i'm just gonna sit here for a while play some focus music in the background plan out the rest of my week it's only thursday but i don't really know what i'm doing this weekend so Okay, we are done with the work. It's 7.23 p.m. Like, how is it so late right now? I'm going to get dressed. I just texted her and I think she's coming here. See, this would be fine if my apartment was already clean, but it's not. So, <clears throat> I think she's coming in 45 minutes. I need to speed clean this entire apartment and make sure it's presentable for the time she comes. Eee! Times like these, my apartment should already be clean, but I have a habit of not cleaning it if I don't think anybody's coming. cleaning just on time and I think she's here so woo, go me this actually motivated me to clean my apartment so even better we just went to pick up our sushi we have so much stuff I'm so excited to eat I'm so hungry but we're gonna film a little TikTok actually I'm just gonna watch it be filmed because I'm not gonna film my own this is the behind the scenes <laughs> got the tripod and everything whenever I'm in a new place I feel like it takes me so long to find the angles this is what the setup is looking like. I'm so excited. This is everything we got. Crunch roll over there. And then some gyoza. We got this spinach gomai. This is really good. It's like spinach in peanut sauce, I think. And then I also got salmon maki, negi toro maki, which is like tuna and scallions, I think. We're gonna film a podcast episode. I have only been on one podcast before and it was on FaceTime. Exciting. So this is like the real deal. This, this is, is where like the magic's made, right? This handy dandy. <laughs> you lift it up? Yeah. How do you even use it? Um, it's just like a little, oh. So the thing is, is that this is my career and it's also <laughs> broken. <laughs> so I have this clip and you got to get it right in a good spot and then okay. you clip it and then she somehow stays if you try really hard. Mm. Testing, okay. testing. Hi everyone. Should I do an ASMR challenge? <laughs> I actually hate ASMR. Not right. only do I not like ASMR, but it gives me the A. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, this is good because I forgot we're like entering the new year. People are like, what are her 2023 goals? What are... I feel like I need my notebook out. Like I'm stressed right now. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to bring my... I'm going to bring my... my... You guys have to watch the actual episode, so I'm not going to spoil anything, but you guys will see a little time lapse. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. okay everyone the moment that you've been waiting for is here i am with fernanda ramirez that's me <laughs> i'm so excited to be on the wellness cafe let's set the vibe for them <laughs> first of all okay so <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just went to go look at the vibe. <laughs> What's I'm the like, vibe? How do I? <laughs> well, okay, we just finished recording. That was crazy. I actually think it was really good. Really? I think it was good. It is currently 1.22 a.m. I look like death, but I'm ready for bed. I want to drink some water before I go to sleep. Drinking water actually like deep loads your whole body and I always feel so much better the next day when I do because my face isn't like super puffy. The one thing I hate about drinking water late at night is I freaking hate having to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Like that is my number one pet peeve. 
I literally just want to go to bed.